Hey guys, welcome to the lecture on progressive taxation. Now, this lecture will look at the idea of progressive taxation as a as a major budget revenue source, and we're going to look at income taxation primarily. So, first of all, we're going to look at the the concept of progressive taxation. Secondly, we'll look at this idea of bracket creep. And lastly, we'll look at how to calculate taxation using the tax tables. So we're going to look at this concept of progressive taxation. And the, the best way to look at this is to look at the tax table. And we'll look at how the tax table has actually changed from 2010 to 2012 to promote this goal of equity in income distribution. Okay, so we have, say, let's say this is the 2010 table, and we have the 2000, 2012 to 2014 tax bracket. And again, we have this is the taxable income thresholds in dollars terms taxable income threshold in dollars terms and here in the right hand column the marginal tax rate as a percentage of income tax so income taxation is paid to the next dollar earned so this is again the marginal tax rate as a percent of income. So in 2010, we saw that if someone earned from zero dollars to six thousand dollars, they would pay zero percent of their income in taxation. From every dollar above six thousand dollars, so six thousand and one to thirty-five thousand dollars they would have to, have to pay 15% of this income in excess of $6,000 as taxation. And from $35,000, $35,001 onwards to $80,000, the marginal tax rate again increases to 30%. And from $80,000, $80,001 to $180,000, we will see that the income tax paid for every dollar above $80,000 is at 37%. And lastly, when we have $18,001 over, the income tax paid in 2010 was 45%. And in 2012, there was a budgetary policy or discretionary change in budgetary policy that actually increased the tax free threshold. So instead of being um, $0 to $6,000, the tax free threshold actually increased to $18,200. And that would be 0%. So if you earn anything less than $18,200, you would have to pay 0% in it, 0% of that income in tax. From $18,201 to $37,000, you would have to pay 19% in tax. 19%. From $37,001 to $80,000, you would pay 32.5%. So we can see that although the initial tax rate threshold has increased, or has increased from 6,000 to 80,200, the next tax bracket has actually, the marginal tax rate payable in the next tax bracket has increased from 15% to 19%, and 30% to 32.5%. And again, we have $80,001 to 18 dollars 
the taxable income stayed the same at 37%. And lastly, we have $18,001 and over, the tax rate again stayed constant at 45%. So that's the concept of progressive taxation here, is that as your income increases in both 2010 and 2012, the marginal tax rate payable increases from 0 to 19%, 19 to 32%, 32.5% 32 to 37%, and 37% to 45%. So that's the idea of progressive taxation, is that the tax payable as your income increases, increases as your income increases. So tax increases as income increases. So that's the name where the name progressive comes from. So we're going to look at this idea of bracket creep. So bracket creep essentially is this idea that when your income increases, then you're moving up tax brackets. So these these are what we call tax brackets. So the first bracket is from zero to eighteen thousand dollars. Second bracket is from eighteen thousand two hundred one dollars to thirty seven thousand dollars, and so on. So when your income increases, say just for example, it increases from fifty thousand dollars. So you'd be in this bracket here to a hundred thousand dollars, so it doubles, you move up a bracket to this bracket here, and therefore you would have to pay a high proportion of income for for your income between eighteen eighty thousand and one dollar to eight hundred and eighty thousand dollars. That's the idea of bracket creep. Is that when your income rises you're gonna move up tax brackets. Okay. So we've done that. Now finally, we're going to look at how income taxation is calculated. So we're going to look at a, an example. So let's say this person earns, I'm just going to check them here. We're not, we're not going to look at the 2010 tax rate. That was just used as comparison. But we're just going to rub this out. We're not going to worry about the 2000 tax rate, the 2010 tax rate because it is not applicable to the current situation that we have. In Australia, we're going to look at the 2012 to 2014 tax rate. So we're going to assume that the income that we earn is $120,000. So that's our taxable income. And so we're going to use this tax table to calculate how much taxation would have to be paid under this progressive income taxation. Okay, so from Zero to eighteen thousand dollars, we pay zero dollars because the marginal tax rate is zero dollars. So from eighteen thousand two hundred one dollars to thirty-seven thousand dollars, we can see that if we take it away, eighteen thousand two hundred one dollars, that would equal thirty-seven thousand minus eighteen two oh. One, and that would be eighteen seven nine nine dollars. So we have to pay nineteen percent of eighteen thousand seven hundred ninety nine dollars in taxation, and that comes out to around three hundred three thousand five hundred seventy two dollars. So that's the first tax bracket we have to pay between eighteen thousand two hundred one dollars. To thirty-seven thousand dollars, we have to pay ninety percent of that tax, of that income as tax. So the second tax bracket we have eighty thousand dollars minus thirty-seven oh oh one. So if we just take this or take that away from eighty thousand dollars, we get around forty-two thousand dollars, nine hundred ninety-nine dollars. So 42,999, you multiply that by the marginal tax rate, which is 32.5%. And for this tax bracket, you have to pay around, approximately to the nearest dollar, $13,975. So this is where we come to a tricky bit, because we don't have... $180,000, we're only earning $120,000. So what we do here is we take $120,000, or take $80,001 because we already paid income 
for this eighty thousand dollars already in lower tax brackets. We take what is left of our taxable income away from our um, total income, and we get $39,999. And if you multiply that by the tax rate, which is 37% here, we will get a number that is around $14,000. And eight hundred dollars. So that is the taxable income from eighty thousand and one dollars to one hundred eighty thousand dollars. And since we only we are only earning one hundred twenty thousand dollars, we only have to pay thirty nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars in this tax bracket there. So all we do is we add all this up, or we'll add the white bits up, and we get a taxable income of around $32,347. So that's how we calculate this um, income taxation. So of the $120,000 that we earn in that year, we have to pay $32,347 $32, in, in income tax. Okay, so that's the lecture on progressive income taxation. The basic idea that we, we, we want you to take from this is that as your income rises, you have to pay a high proportion of your income 